Hello and welcome to a tutorial video from me for you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about vibrato. If you are a beginner or an, let's say you play for two or three years, um, you maybe haven't tried vibrato yet. But if you now start to vibrate, you will encounter one problem. This is you are holding to the violin too firmly. You have to loosen up this point here. It doesn't mean you have to you really release the contact. You can st still stay in contact with the violin. But if you cramp too, too hard here on this point, the movement will be very hard. As I told you before, you have to release your index finger here a little bit from the neck. This will come easier if your thumb is in a good position. Beginners tend to be very creative with the positions of the fingers. Just place your thumb where it comes down on the violin with the tip on the neck. Not with the actual this kind of tip but with this soft pad here. Let's start right up here. I don't know if you are already used to third position playing but I don't care. So you can just go up here to the violin to the body of the violin with the hand. Keep in mind that your thumb is in a good position and now you can, from the wrist, make some sort of a shift up and down, up and down. It's very good to do this exercise because your wrist is in a, a fixed position and therefore you will learn this movement, which is a part of the actual vibrato movement on the violin. You can now go, go for a sounding note. It will not actually sound good, but it doesn't need to sound good yet. It's just an exercise. So listen to this. I started with a very wide range of motion and become smaller and smaller and try to keep the wrist movement of the hand. This is very good for, for people who get stiff in this joint or tend to do the wrong motion. You don't want to move the wrist, you want to move the fingertip. So you have to be still in the wrist and move the fingertip if you want to make a wrist vibrato. The same thing we did in this position up here with the wrist, we can now do in the lower position. Keep in mind to have the thumb in the right position, not like this. And now I will start doing this shifting movement. And I start with a very big movement and then I go for a very small movement. I'm doing this exercise very quick for you. You can do this very very often at home okay you can slide up and down until you really feel okay now i can can uh, make a smaller movement and then finally you press down with the finger you want to vibrate and the finger stops but the arm still moves let's go into um what the vibrato movement movement should look like. The vibrato is basically not a movement up and down the fingerboard. Don't get this wrong. It's a rolling of the fingertip up and down, up and down. And by rolling with the fingertip, we of course make a higher note. And a lower note. We now learned that the movement is a rolling movement of the finger. 
This is very important because if you understand that, you will be able to, to create exercises on your own when you just think of rolling your tip up and down. You can do that by just using the finger. This is a good exercise for people who get stiff in this kind of joint. For me, the third finger, this finger, was actually quite painful in the beginning to do this movement, but now it's quite good trained and now it doesn't hurt anymore. So some joints you would never use instead of when you play the, uh, the violin, you have to train them for the violin. Another kind of exercise I got from a book of Simon Fisher. I, I do now all exercise with the first finger because you can see better. You place one finger on the fingerboard and now you go with the base joint as near as possible to the fingerboard and then as far as possible away from the fingerboard. Near, far, near, far, or close and far away, close and far away. Okay, this, if you do this with every finger, especially with the fourth finger, it will give you much more flexibility of movement. It's very important to have a good core sound before you can start to vibrate. If you have a sound like of course you can vibrate but, but it won't feel as, as natural as it can feel when you have a very good core sound and then and then you place your vibrato on top of that sound let's get that together again we have this exercise for the wrist, this exercise for the arm, this exercise for the ground joints here, and then you have this exercise with the finger. Think about the vibrato, it's a swinging movement. When you get the feel for it, you will know what I mean. Balance is very important. When you are on the balance point, you can go to this side, this side, this side, without very much effort. Give your hand a good position, move a little bit far away, far further away from the neck, or at least just touch it very slightly. I think that's enough for now. Um, write me in the comments if you have any questions or requests for a video. Uh, I can make a very, very fast uh, video for you on any topic if you like. Um, I have lots of exercises in my head and in books uh, at my home. Maybe I, I will play some notes for you and show you how to vibrate. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, as I said write in the comments below what you want to see or learn on the violin. Um, it's much fun for me to make this short videos because I know I can help some people and um, yeah have fun practicing and see you next time.